Hi everybody. I've recently forked out for a balsa stripper. It's something I've been holding off buying for quite some time uh, and I probably should have bought it when I was doing some of the rib capping for the slow poke but I've gotten around to buying one now. They're, they're fairly cheap. They're only uh, a few pounds and I'm hoping that it will kind of just make things a little cheaper for me when I'm making stringers and also speed up the process of cutting large long strips of balsa. Uh, it's a pretty simple device made out of plastic with um, number 11 blade in it, clamped using two screws. Uh, it's also got inches on one side and millimeter markings on the other. And you just have a little turn handle at the end, which adjusts. And it's got a little marker in there as well, so you can see exactly how many millimeters or inches you are. Um, I've got a, a scrap piece of 1 inch balsa here. And... I've set the blade so that it cuts right down to the bottom. I think for 1 16 inch it's okay to do this in one pass. And it's pretty easy to use. You simply just align it against the edge of the balsa and then just run it along. And as ever, just mind your fingers on these ones. And as you can see, they all just pop off like that. So it's a pretty simple device. Um, and I'm happy enough with how it works. When it does a uh, 1 8 inch thicker or more, what I do is just loosen it off a bit, pull the blade up slightly so that it doesn't cut through on its first pass. And then I'll do that first pass, adjust the blade so that it does cut through and run the second pass. So there's the first pass done, and I'll adjust the blade so that it will cut through on its second pass. I just do this by eye, um, I'm not going to be overly accurate on it, and I don't want it to go too deep as well into this. So just by doing it by eye is good enough, and if there's any little bit of balls that hasn't been cut, it'll just be snapped off when I complete the cut itself. There we go. And that's it. So yeah, pretty nifty little tool. Um, I'll see if I can go through my balls of stock, see how many more stringers I'm going to need and use this tool to cut through. I'll have to change the blade regularly. The tip is going to get blunted quite quickly, I expect, but that's par for the course. Um, but yeah, all in all, I'm pretty pleased with that one. Thanks for watching.